We'll be talking about death today. Now that I'm beginning to have an online presence, I think it is important to update my viewers on my attendance. Like, if I ever decide to step away from any of these platforms for a while, I think my audience deserves to know that. But there's a bit of a problem. If I was to, hypothetically, kick the bucket unexpectedly, how would any of you know? You could guess I have based on the fact that I haven't posted anything in a year or so, but that would only be an assumption. You would never know for certain. Now, based on where I live, I realized I could walk out of life's exit door at any moment with no advance notice. I won't say where, but I'll give you a couple of hints. It starts with an A, and it also ends with an A. It looks like this. And lastly, it rhymes with America. Now, here are your options. If you guessed America, you're correct. Here, I could be grocery shopping, minding my own business, when suddenly... What? Wait, where am I? Heaven? Wait, God? Yep. You're real? Yeah, surprise smart guy, you're going to hell, Lamau. Or, I could be taking notes in class, for example, again, minding my own business, when out of nowhere, pumped up kicks start playing. So I've come up with a solution that will let you know if my heart is still beating, even if I get caught lacking. The goal for today's video is to create a website that will display my heart rate in real time. So if you ever go, hmm, Ardens has not posted a video in a hot minute. I wonder if he's still alive. Let me check. Yep, he's still alive and kicking at 127 BPM. I wonder what he's doing for his heart rate to be this high at 3 in the morning. For this project, we'll be using a pulse sensor. This component is the heart of this entire project. This little guy is perfect if you would like to incorporate live heart rate data into your builds. We'll also be using an Arduino Nano in a Raspberry Pi. Now I've gotten these components off of Amazon. If you're interested in getting any of them for your own projects while also supporting moi, I'll leave a link to them down in the description. Okay, so here's the plan. The pulse sensor will be monitoring my heart rate. The Arduino will be reading the signals coming from the pulse sensor and the sensor data from the Arduino will then be sent to the Raspberry Pi. Because the Raspberry Pi is a full-blown computer, we can turn it into a web server where the data from the Arduino can be saved in a file and then be uploaded to a dynamic website that I'll code using PHP. All right, all right, fucking relax. It's not that deep. Hey, Ardens, quick question. Yeah, what's up? So you're using the Arduino because it has GPI opens you can use to read signals from the pulse sensor, right? Yeah. But the Raspberry Pi also has GPI opens. Mm-hmm, yeah, that's correct. So what's the need for the Arduino then? Why not only use the Raspberry Pi? That is a very good question. Just like the Arduino, the Raspberry Pi also has GPI opens, which we can use to read input from external devices. But the Arduino has something the Raspberry Pi doesn't, and that is a built-in ADC, an analog digital converter. And all that does is convert analog voltage values into digital values. And the pulse sensor is a type of sensor that gives out analog signals. While Arduinos can recognize analog signals directly, Raspberry Pis can't. They would need an external chip to be able to do so. So why not just get the chip? We'll start by connecting the pulse sensor to the Arduino and writing some code that will measure my heart rate in beats per minute. And it just so happens that there's a pre-written sketch that does this already in the pulse sensor library, making my life 10 times easier. All right, so I've attached the sensor to my finger and if we take a look at the serial monitor, we can see my heart rate being recorded. I modified the code a bit, so if there's no pulse being detected, it will return no pulse. Now let's take this data and send it to the Raspberry Pi using serial communication over a USB cable. Some kind of a dent by now. Oh, come on! Oh. 
This Python script allows the Pi to read the serial output coming from the Arduino. And if I run it, we can see we're getting the BPM values we were getting from the Arduino serial monitor. And if I remove my finger, it will return no pulse. Let's now save this data in a file and use PHP to look inside that file, grab the number value and dynamically display it on a web page that refreshes every second. My original plan was to save my data into a database instead of a file and have it displayed on the site without having to refresh the page. But I was having too much trouble figuring out how to do that. So I'm using this method I found on YouTube by Eli the computer guy. A big shout out to him. I'll leave links to his videos that helped me complete this project. Okay, so here's the website. It's super simple. On the top, I have a heading that says Arden's heart rate. And in the middle of the screen, my heart rate is updating every second. I'm using Apache as the web server to present my website to visitors and everything is working as intended. But we're not done yet. There is one last thing I need to do to complete this project and that is to make this server public. As it stands, this website is running on my local host, meaning only those who are using my home network can access this server. If you have to be in my house to access this website, that defeats the whole purpose of figuring out if I'm alive or not. Because if you're living with me, I feel like you would be able to tell. I didn't want to buy a domain name for this project, so I was going to use port forwarding, a technique that is used to give external devices access to a private network. However, my bitch ass ISP made that difficult for me to do. So I resorted to using a tunneling service called Ngrok, an application that enables developers to expose a local server to the internet with minimal effort. And we're done. Now anyone around the world with an internet connection can see if I'm alive or not. Now, I just need some visitors, and I know just the place. Hello? Hi. After that amazing entrance, I went ahead and explained to them the project and asked them to visit the website. All right, so what you're going to do is click on the postapp.php file. And Oh, 182, god damn! Wait, what are you not? 280! One second! One, I got 147, 135. 135, 119. 106. Wait, 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 wait. 111. Yeah. Are you good? Look, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just moving Did around a lot. 217! <laughs> wait, wait, let me just breathe, alright? No pulse. Are you dead or something? Wait, 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 wait. No wait. pulse. Did you take it off? 111, 137. Okay. 93, 99, 99, 98, 97, 99. 99. Now you just want to select 200 immediately. Oh, 100. Okay, it's 99. Arden, Arden, try holding, Arden, try holding your breath. Okay. Wow, it stayed 100. Wow, okay. All right, I'm trying to go down. <sighs> It's going down though. Bro, why is it going so high all of a sudden? Jesus Christ. Bro, you need to see a doctor. Bro. Hmm. Dude, why is your heart rate so high? I don't I, I know. <laughs> I'm trying to go see a doctor. It's too I know, is, I know, I know. Is your know. girlfriend, like, in front of you? Like, no! <laughs> is this the time where we give out a shout-out? You, <laughs> you want a shout-out? Yeah. Sure, go ahead. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. A link will be in the description. Right, Ardens? Right. You promise? Promise, I promise. So that was fun. Everything relating to this video will be in the description, from the videos I watched, the articles I've read, and the code I've written. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll let Joker Dev do the outro and close this video off. 
Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. I'll be posting game developing stuff. Um, I'm still new to it, so please don't bully me. And the link will be in the description. Hopefully, if Arden doesn't be an asshole and doesn't put it there, and subscribe to the his channel. Um, come to come to our come to this Discord server. We're very chill. We be playing games on there, some shit. Yeah. Um, we be playing fucking Uno. Yeah. yeah it's fucking great. And maybe and maybe we play some Valorant too because there's only two people in the server that be playing Valorant here. That's me and my boy Bazooka. <laughs> but you don't care about Bazooka. You care about me and Ardens, all right? Mainly <laughs> Ardens. But you know it is what it is. Yeah. Anyways, um. Hope you enjoyed the video. Good night. God damn, how long was that? Like 30 seconds? <laughs> God damn. <laughs>